Rotator cuff tears, whether partial or full thickness rotator cuff tears, are a common injury to the shoulder. Logically, it would make sense that if we have a tear in the rotator cuff, we need to have surgery to repair it so that we can decrease the shoulder pain and improve function of the shoulder. But do surgically treated rotator cuff tears actually have better outcomes than conservatively managed tears? A study published in the Journal of Shoulder and Elbow Surgery by Richard Borman investigated the treatment outcomes between a conservatively managed group and a surgically managed group for full thickness rotator cuff tears. There were 104 individuals that were included in the original study that had a two-year follow-up, and then 79 of those individuals were included in the five-year follow-up. What they found was that in the 64 individuals that had a successful conservative treatment, that only three of those individuals needed surgery in that two to five year follow-up window. At the five year follow-up, when looking at the outcomes between the conservatively managed group and the surgically managed group, they found that both groups improved over that five year window and that there was no statistical difference between those two treatments. Therefore, the authors concluded that conservative treatment of full thickness rotator cuff tears is a reasonable treatment option and that it can provide long lasting relief. And for those three individuals that needed to have surgery in that two to five year window, the study found that there wasn't a detriment in delaying the surgical intervention and that those individuals were able to have similar outcomes as those who had had surgery early on in the study. The debate on whether rotator cuff tears should be treated conservatively or surgically still remains a bit controversial. While conventional wisdom says that if there's a tear in the rotator cuff, it needs to be surgically repaired to reduce the pain and also improve the function of the shoulder, this study suggests that that actually might not be the case and that conservative treatment might actually be a reasonable approach for full thickness rotator cuff tears. Instead of focusing primarily on the rotator cuff tear, it might be better served if we focus on the function of the shoulder during treatment. The reason this is is because if we look at the relationship between pain and function to the structure of the rotator cuff, that relationship is a little bit convoluted. For instance, studies that have looked at asymptomatic shoulders, so shoulders without any pain, they estimate that about 25% of those shoulders will have a full thickness rotator cuff tear and that that percentage increases with age and these are in individuals without any shoulder pain. In another study which looked at elite baseball pitchers, they found that 40% of those individuals without any shoulder pain had a full thickness rotator cuff tear. So even from a performance standpoint, these individuals were able to perform at a very high level with high demands on that shoulder despite having a full thickness rotator cuff tear. Even if there is a full thickness rotator cuff tear evident on MRI, that does not mean that surgery is necessary to repair the rotator cuff so that we can decrease pain in the shoulder and improve function of the shoulder. This study suggests that if we look at the outcomes between a conservatively managed group and a surgically managed group, that the outcomes are similar five years after the intervention. For those that delay surgical repair, there doesn't seem to be a detriment in that they're able to have a similar outcome as those who have an early intervention with surgery. So when we're treating these shoulders, we should really be looking at the function of the shoulder instead of prioritizing purely just the image. Thank you for watching this episode on rotator cuff tears and treatment. I hope that you found this information useful. If you did, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of future videos, hit the bell icon as well. I'll see you guys in the next video.